good morning children today we are going to see the addition of fraction so to add the fraction we need only the like fraction we cannot add any fractions we, we cannot add unlike fractions okay only like fraction we can add like fraction means they will have the same same denominator so now this two are like fraction because they both have the same denominator so the fractions which are having the same denominator only that fraction you can add okay if they have the different denominator you cannot add it okay now this two we have to add so how we will do means first you take the common denominator first you write the common denominator don't skip this step if you skip this step you will make mistake okay so don't skip this step without uh, skipping this step also you can write the answer but there is a lot of possibility you will you will make a mistake so write like this first take the common denominator here four both are having four no so write four down then now write the numerator on the top this both the numerator you have to write since they this both are the same so we have written only once okay so now add only the numerator 1 2 3 3 by 4 so the denominator will remain the same see what is the denominator here that is the same thing will be there only the numerator changes okay but uh, when you miss this one some most of them no they however i teach also i have taught two years but uh, i have seen most of the making mistake they add the numerator and they add the denominator also and they write 3 by 8 this is this is a wrong wrong answer that's why i'm telling don't miss this method if you if you follow this this step this step if you follow without missing this step then you will not make a mistake this mistake you will not make you, your answer will be correct okay so uh, try to write all the steps so you even in hari bari you will not make any mistake okay so this is the way how to do the addition okay let's see one more example now 11 by 25 plus 8 by 25 how to add So now both denominator is same. So let's take the common denominator. Then after that, write the numerators. So now add and write the numerator: eleven plus eight, nineteen. Nineteen by twenty-five. Don't miss the denominator. Denominator you must write. This is the answer. So this is the way you write the answer. Okay. Now let's see the subtraction. So subtraction also the same method only. Okay, now let's see this one. Twelve by nineteen minus five by nineteen. So the same method. This both the denominators are same. No, only like fraction we can do the addition and subtraction. Okay, so take the common denominator, then write the numerators. Twelve minus five. Now only how to minus the numerator. Twelve minus five seven. And write the denominator as it is. Seven by nineteen is the answer. This is the way you do the subtraction. Okay. That last video also I explained. Now suppose if it is five by five, then it is one. Okay. If it is now seven by seven means it is one. If the numerator and the denominator is same, then the it is equal to the whole. Okay. So if it is given one, then you can write it this way. If it is given seven by seven, then you will write it one. If it is given one, you can write seven by seven or five by five, according to the sum. You have to look at the sum and you have to do. Okay. So now I will say how to do. Uh, whether it we will write five by five or seven by seven for one, that you will know now. Okay. So suppose now one example. Let's see for minus from the whole. You have to minus. Oh, you have to minus. Five by seven. Sorry, if I will make you confused. Okay, so I I won't give this two number. I will give any other number. Okay, let's take it nine here, and here it is eight. Okay, so it is eight by nine. From the whole, you have to minus eight by nine. So this one, what it will become? This one should become the same number in numerator and the denominator. It should become a fraction, and in that fraction, the numerator and the denominator must be the Same number. So what number should come? That you you have to keep. Uh, you have to think. See here, when we minus, uh, the denominator must be same. Okay. So think when we minus or add, the denominator must be same. Then only we can minus. So now look at the denominator here. So nine is here. No, nine is here in the denominator, in this fraction. So the same nine should be here in this also. Then only you can do the minus. 
okay so you will write the denominator here 9 since you need the same denominator so here you have to write 9 so to become 1 then the numerator also same number should be there so it will be 9 by 9 so this 1 will become 9 by 9 okay so if 1 is given then how it will change means you have to look at the other fractions the another fraction is given no? in that fractions denominator you look at so what denominator is given that same number you write it in the numerator and the denominator suppose it is given here 15 means you will write here 15 by 15 if it is given 2 then you will write 2 by 2 okay if it is given 100 then you will write 100 by 100 okay so look at this denominator okay look at the other fractions denominator the same number you write in the numerator and the denominator now you write this one as it is 8 by 9 so now you have got two fraction now as usual what we have done the same way take the common denominator then write the numerators on the top now 9 minus 8 1 so 1 by 9 is the answer this I have to write down but if I write you cannot see that's why I am writing here but you have to write it down okay this is the way you have to do this is not given in the book but this is the same type of question asked in the problems okay that's why I am explaining this one okay now see this problem I had 15 pencils in a box I used 7 pencils what fraction of pencils used also what fraction of pencils not used so you have to find the fraction they have not asked the number of pencil they have asked the fraction of pencils so now how to do first you have to write the statement total number of pencils then you will write <coughs> number of pencils used wait a minute Okay, see here <clears throat> total number of pencils 15 again number of pencils used is 7 now fraction of pencils you must know the difference number of pencils here fraction of pencils both are used only but you see the difference here it is number of pencils used so number of pencils used it will be written in whole number now fraction of pencils used it it must be in uh, it must be in fraction okay so to write the fraction what you will do it is asked for used you no know? so you first you write then you write in the numerator what is used okay how many is used seven is used seven are used so that you write in the numerator again in the denominator you write the total number of pencils that is 15 okay so here already you have learned what is fraction in the fraction you will have numerator and the denominator in numerator how much it is uh, selected no chosen or selected that is you will write on the numerator again total number you will write down so here how much is uh, asked no that only you have to write what is asked it is asked used so how many used that you write on the numerator total number you have to write uh, down okay this is the way you will follow in the problems what is asked you look at what is asked that you write in the numerator again uh, total number you write in the denominator when it is asked in fraction you will do this way but number of means there is a different calculation fraction means you will do that way okay now next one is what fraction of pencils not used this is used this is not used so this one how to find it you have to write down but they cannot see so I will rub and do again okay here also first you have to write the total number of pencils total number of pencil is 15 pencils are 15 number of pencils not used so number of pencils not used is given only used is given okay so from the total number if you minus the number of pencils used then you will find the number of pencils not used so in uh, 15 total number you have to minus the used pencil so 15 minus 7 you will get 8 so therefore 8 pencils are not used so now you have to write the fraction so I told in uh, when you write the fraction fraction of pencils in the numerator you will write what is asked so it is asked not used so not used is 8 so that you will write in the numerator and down in the denominator you will write the total number so total number is 15 that you have to write it down so this is the answer 8 by 15 so there are two questions for, for first question already I answered again this is the second question okay see here in a fruit basket 5 by 7 are mangoes and the rest are apples what is the fraction of apples so it is given rest so in this case when it comes like this one fraction is given and they are telling the uh, another fraction is uh, you have to find the another fraction so that way if they ask what you have to do you have to minus from the whole from the whole you have to minus this fraction then you will get the remaining fraction okay so first you have to write 
fraction of mangoes fraction of mangoes fraction of mangoes is 5 by 7 now fraction of apples so in this case when it is asked rest are remaining are if it is given like that then you have to do the minus so from the from 1 you will minus 5 by 7 if one fraction is given and they are asking to find the rest otherwise the remaining then you will do this way okay so now 1 minus 5 by 7 so if 1 comes then I told here this 1 will become this the other fractions denominator this denominator is 7 so that will become a this 1 will become the numerator and the denominator of this denominator 7 by 7 minus 5 by 7 so now you will take the common 7 denominator write the numerator on the top 7 minus 5 7 minus 5 2 by 7 so the fraction of apples are 2 by 7 so this is the way how to do okay this sum is from the example in the book how many minutes are there in quarter of an hour so quarter of an hour this is hour is given and they are asking here it is asked for minutes so you must know 1 hour equal to how many minutes 1 hour equal to 60 minutes 60 minutes and here quarter it is given quarter means how will you write in fraction quarter means it is 1 by 4 so these two things you must know From here it is number is not given so don't think that number is not given so what I will do so find the number from the question itself 1 hour 1 hour is 16 minutes 60 minutes quarter is 1 by 4 so they are asking you to find the quarter of an hour so from the from here itself I will see I will make a calculation you see here okay see here quarter of an hour quarter is 1 by 4 just you write this statement in number that's all of meaning it is into of in maths of means it is into okay an hour an hour means 1 hour 1 hour is how many minutes 60 minutes okay I have changed this words into number that's all all these words I have changed into number quarter is 1 by 4 of means into an hour an hour is 1 hour 1 hour is 60 minutes so when it comes like this what you have to do means this side number into is given no after into you don't see the fraction this whole number is given no so that whole number you have to divide by the this fractions denominator this fraction denominator what is given 4 Okay, always whenever it is given in this method, in this way, one fraction multiply by another whole number. Otherwise, whole number multiply by fraction. This can be written even like this also, 1 by 4. Both are same. Okay, whole number into fraction. Otherwise, fraction into whole number, if it is given like that, that whole number you write first, then write, divide, then write the denominator of this fraction. Okay, divide and you will write the answer. Since it is 1, so you have no problem. Suppose if there is any other number is there, then what you are dividing that uh, answer you are getting no that answer you have to multiply by this numerator okay so in your class you won't have your class 3 level only so that won't be there so this one only you have to only one will be there so 60 divide by 4 so 60 divide by 4 you will get 4 ones are 4 6 minus 4 2 0 5 fours are 20 so the answer is 15 so this is the answer so quarter of an hour is 15 minutes quarter of an hour is 15 minutes okay see here in a class out of 45 children 1 by 3 are boys what is the number of boys now what is the number of boys so fraction of boys is given and they are asking the number of boys fraction is given and they are asking for number of boys so that how we will do so first you write the total number of children total number of children equal to 45 fraction of boys are 1 by 3 now number of boys so number of boys is uh, 1 by third of 45 number of boys are 1 by third of 45 okay this is only how to write fraction is given and if they are asking for the number then you will do the same way but you have to see whether it is boys means boys but here boys and here girls means that is answer that calculation is like first sum okay so this is the way how to do 1 by 3 of 45 so 1 by 3 of is multiply again 45 so I told like this whole number multiplied by the fraction means you have to divide the whole number by this denominator 45 divided by 3 
so 45 if you divide by 3 you will get 3 ones are 3 and 5 threes are 15 so the answer is 15 okay that means 15 are boys okay now suppose if they are asking the same question number of girls then what you will do so girls equal to girls equal to from the total number total number of children 45 from there you minus the boys boys are 15 so 45 minus 15 30 so 30 are girls this is the way how to do okay so finish and do the homework thank you